All right, let's do a pack one, pick one of the Aquaria pack we cracked the other day. Let's remove the token. Uh, again, I like seeing dual lands because that means there's no basic land in the pack. Um, yeah, dual lands are always nice to have, but definitely not pick one able or first pickable. Inspired Ultimatum. Uh, this is actually one of the better ultimatums. Uh, you can put it or like build around it in like a control deck, although it's kind of funny. You actually have to worry about drawing five cards and like there's a chance you could deck yourself because five cards is a lot, but this can kind of swing games. Uh, not probably one of the, like the middle or medium ultimatums, but still pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's first pickable, but definitely have my eye on it. Zagoth Mamba. Uh, for the mutate deck, uh, pretty strong and fun to like pop off with, but uh, otherwise it's a one mana one one. General's Enforcer, this card's pretty good. It's a mana sink. The first land text is rarely relevant, um, as there's only the that one human. Oh, well, there's a couple, but usually you you probably won't come across it, but. This ability, uh, it's nice for generating tokens, which is what you want to do in the White Black Humans deck. It's just something to do if you're flooding out, so not bad. Master Liger, good for an aggro deck, but you don't want too many mutate cards in an aggro deck, so um, not too great. 4 mana, 3, 4 otherwise. Not even that great if you get this. To mutate on turn three. Bristling Boar, uh, playable, four mana, four, three. Uh, this ability sometimes is relevant, but I mean, four mana, four, three, pretty average stats. You'll play it. Suffocating Fumes, uh, it's an okay cycle card. The actually playing it will be useful, it'll swing a good amount of combat steps squared against aggro decks, but I think most of, most of the times you end up cycling it. But I think it's nice to have a one of, but definitely picking up later in the draft. Thwart Enemy, a fog that I'll probably never play. Aegis Turtle, it's a good mutate base, or just something to mutate on actually, um, but otherwise I mean, in the sense of like the Just Guy control tech that, that wants to run the ultimatum, this card is okay because you're trying to stall, trying to build up, um, and get your cycling payoffs going in Just Guy. Because, uh, I mean, 1 mana 0 5, it blocks a 4 4, right? So, pretty good. Glimmer Bell, 2 mana 1 3 flyer. Uh, I mean, this card seems. Fine, this actually seems pretty good, but I don't know. Probably better as a uh, mutate base just because of the untap thing. It's not irrelevant. 2 mana 1 3 flyer gets in a lot of free damage early on. It blocks 2 twos. So, playable. Posing Vantasaur. Uh, more used for the cycling deck, the red white cycle deck, just because it cycles for one. I don't think you'll end or ever end up playing it for six, but I'm sure it comes up from time to time. Blister Spit Gremlin. Uh, it's meant for the spells deck, but even then it's not a great payoff. Eh, I don't really like this card, because it only pings opponents and it costs one to do so. So, not that great. Drown Stinger, one of the cycling deck payoffs. I think a lot of people would first pick this, so I have my eye on this, because 2 mana 2-2 two, two, is a payoff, and it cycles if you have like two of these on the field already, which you want like two or three of these in the cycling deck. Oh, and by the way, it's like the only time I've gotten two of the uh, comic book arts in the same pack. Volpa Keep. It's, it's an okay card, but a lot of times what happens is you try to mutate and then with the trigger on the stack, they fire prophecy it and that's kind of annoying. 
Looking Dead Eye, uh, another playable, something to be wary of when your opponent has four men up. But hmm. as far as first pick goes, uh, Drenna Stinger is probably most people's go-to for the first pick, but. Uh, you can make an argument for General's Enforcer. It does commit you to black-white, though. Um, and then Inspired Ultimatum. I don't know if ultimatums are usually first pickable, specifically this one. I mean, the, the Mardi one is good. The Abzan one is great. But this one, I mean, it doesn't... It does affect the board, but it doesn't super swing, I don't think. So I don't know if it's first pickable. And then so General's Enforcer and Drana Stinger. The thing about Drana Stinger is it it'll always leave you open. Because worst case scenario, this is, you just put this in your like green black deck and you just treat it as a one mana cycling card. Um, yeah, so I think Drana Stinger is actually my pack one pick one. What do you guys think?